I didn't tattoo, I think, for four years. Then a friend of mine bought me a tattoo machine. He, he had such awful tattoos on his arm, so I had a, a really good canvas for my, for my start. Um, my name is Ralph Nonbader. I'm from Germany. So I'm here for uh, one week for uh, tattooing at Solon. I started tattooing nearly five years now. I just got in contact with, in the meantime, a good friend of mine. Yeah, I, I just uh, hang around at his shop. I didn't tattoo at all. That's while I was studying in Cologne. Then I had to go back to, to Germany and I did only one tattoo in his shop. And then I headed back to, to my hometown. I didn't tattoo, I think, for four years. Then a friend of mine bought me a tattoo machine. He, he had such awful tattoos on his arm, so I had a, a really good canvas for my, for my start. In, in, in the beginning, he showed me his arms and he said, you can't do something wrong, so just go. And I, I just tattooed him. My first tattoo was um, the goblin. Of, no, the first tattoo I ever did was a, was a dragon and then on his arm I did the goblin, uh, a portrait. Yeah, that's, that's how it started. I started painting or drawing when I was three. I had a really good support of my, of my daddy because he, he always bought me really good pencils and pens and good paper for, for drawing. He helped me a lot. A good thing about Germany, they have really good product what's depending on, uh, on painting and everything. I always was painting, drawing and in school I had, uh, had arts and when I got to the high school I took the art class so I could make my, my degrees in art. So there are a lot of good possibilities, a lot of good universities to, to study art. All the, the museums and old buildings, they are so inspiring so that you can yeah, easily find inspiration to paint and to, to draw and yeah. It was pretty cool for me, really easy to find good inspiration. When I was, I think I was 16, I started with airbrushing. I saw an exhibition of, of an airbrush, uh, airbrush artist in, in Germany. And this inspired me so much that I bought from the money that I had in that time, I bought a compressor, I bought an airbrush, I bought uh, everything I needed from, from the money that I had and it wasn't much money and it was a new medium for me that I, yeah, I, I'm still using. I stopped for maybe four years, that's what I'm still using, but it's, it's more like a mixed technique. I, use pencils, pens, I use acrylics, I use a lot of erasers, so I try to, to be realistic in what I'm doing, so... Uh, no, yes, maybe, I don't know. Um, I, I have to take my time and I promise to myself after painting the design for Solon, I will start again because I have three children, I don't have much time. It's not a big shop, but uh, it's growing, so I, I want to and I, I really will because it's, it's a part of me to, to paint and to draw and I, I need it and so I will do. The name comes still from my airbrush time, so it's called No Arts. That means no arts because I don't see it as an art, I see it as a craftsmanship. I see myself as a craftsman and not as an artist because my father always said when I did something wrong, 
wow, you're an artist. It was hard for me, so I still got that in my mind, and I see myself as a, I'm a, I'm a carpenter. Yeah, I started as a carpenter, and then um, I switched to the university. So it's still in me. That's how the name came to for my shop, and I'm still using it. It's in how I said before is in the in the western of Germany. It's in the basement. So I, I don't have a, a door that you can open, you have to, to ring the bell and because we don't make appointments each day, we just do appointments all four months that the people can come in, show their ideas and we uh, give appointments then. So it's, it's pretty small but I think it's cool. In my room, my tattoo room is made like a, like a submarine. The room for Patrick will be something like a, like a pirate ship, so we try to make yeah, something special for the people. Nothing too, too bright and too wide that it looks like a, a surgeon room or something like this. We want to have the, the people that they are feeling, feeling good when they come over and yeah. After high school, I started uh, learning carpenter, and then I went to a city close to um, Dortmund, near Cologne. Then I studied media design, and uh, but I, I went back to my hometown, so I didn't finish it. Then I uh, had to to look for what I'm doing. I started airbrushing as a profession. And then the nice guy came who, who gave me the machine and since that time I, I started to tune. That's that's how it how it went. So I I was uh, with uh, my friend in Dortmund. I, I was at the shop, I sat beside him and looked over his shoulder and I, I did maybe two tattoos, to be honest, but uh, the first was not an accident in, in, in the way that it, it, it went wrong, but he told me just, you have to make your first tattoo now because he had to go. So I was shocked and sat down, but it went really well. And then I did one tattoo for myself, uh, for the friend of my wife, and uh, then I went back. And uh, I, I bought a book, I watched some DVDs, but after starting tattooing, I, I, just, I just had this Huck Spalding book I ordered from, from the US. Yeah, I tried to solder my needles and I, I tried to, to get information from other tattoo artists, but uh, it was hard to get an information, so I tried it all by myself. The most inspiring people in tattooing when I started is definitely Bob Tyrell. He's a big, 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 big role model for me and uh, Tom Renshaw. And in arts, in, in fine arts, it's Renato Casado. He's uh, the painter of all the movie posters for Rambo and uh, all those other movies. And uh, probably Frank Frazetta. He's um, something like a fantasy art guy, and I think that's it. That's, for me, the most influencing people to me. I probably will next year. I was at the opening of Alex Di Pazzi's shop in Italy, his off-the-map shop, but I still didn't do any guest spots because I want to focus myself on my own shop, that it, it's good for me, and then after I think I will go next year, in the beginning of next year, I will maybe do one or two guest spots in, in, in Europe or wherever, I will see. No, mostly I stay in Germany, but um, I was in Vegas already. I was in, in Italy just for uh, yeah for the conference, or um, I, I went to um, to France. It's not so often, so I try to to stay with my family. For me, this is the most important thing, and yeah, I try to 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 stay at home. If there is something really interesting that doesn't cost too much time, I go. Most of the time I stay, I stay at home. Mm -hmm. 
I want to hang around with my family. That's first, family first. And uh, when I got the time and I got, got the opportunity, I, I definitely go fishing. I love fishing. I, I think fishing is for me, it's, it's the, the most important thing without my family because I think they hate fishing, but I like it. It's hard to say. I'm not a, I, I don't think I'm really interesting. I'm, a, I'm old, I have three children, I'm a family guy, I, I still have all my teeth. So I don't know, I, I, I don't think I, I'm really special. So there is nothing quite secret about me or... I, I'd love to be... Uh, maybe just an artist, just to paint. I think painter would be cool or when I uh, finished school, I want to be a helicopter pilot. I think it would be cool. After seeing Top Gun, I wanted to fly an, an F-15, but uh, now I'm nearly 40 now and that's it. I, I stay with tattooing or what will come after, but I, 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 I probably will stay tattooing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, that was a nice answer. What other mediums do you work in? Or what did you start? Um, I paint with blood. No, just joking. Mm. <laughs> mm. Come on, ask me. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us something people may not know about you. I got superpower. I can make the air smell. <laughs> <laughs> if you could do any other job in the world, what would it be? Maybe pole dancer. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's me. Does it hurt? Okay, you are strong, man. It's crazy. Look at that. You take, take that. Oh my god. It's okay. It bleeds. No, it bleeds.